Hi, I'm Steve Shipkowski. I'm the senior audio director on Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. The music, it's definitely infused in the DNA of this game. The Guardians are pretty much a rock and roll band. They are a band of misfits that found each other and have a common goal. With Guardians, the music goes beyond what a normal score and soundtrack would do. It's like rock and roll, man. It's the sights, it's the sounds, it's the smells. The ones who get it, they get it here. Our composer, Richard Jakes, is an amazing, amazing talent. When I heard Richard's theme for the Guardians, which at the time he had just called Hero Theme, that was it. I was done. I wanted this game to feel like a 22-hour film. I wanted it to feel big. You could sit down and watch somebody play and enjoy it as if you were almost watching a movie. Richard's music brings an epicness to this game. When you get into those big battles and you hear the score start mounting up, you almost weep when you hear it because it's just so heartfelt and it's the right notes in the right order playing at the right time and it delivers magic. When we started looking at the licensed tracks, I mean, there's so much music to choose from. Fun was the main factor. It has to bring a smile to your face when you hear it. I think we should hear our group for once. I am we obviously have some rock stuff, but we have a lot of new wave sort of pop stuff as well that was really big in the 80s. I'll be honest, I grew up a huge KISS fan, so being able to put KISS I Love It Loud in the game made me super happy. But I also have a huge affection for something like Gary Newman's Cars, which I just find is such a great track and it fits so well. Hot Chocolate, Everybody's a Winner. Amazing song. So if you are a child of the 80s or you have some knowledge of the music in that era, you're gonna love it. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. You say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. So we have this great feature in the game called the huddle. I was looking for a reason to get the music into the game in combat. And this gave me the perfect vehicle to say, what if Peter hits his Walkman Guys, huddle up! and cues up one of his songs and that infuses the team to fight even harder and better. Already missing the jiggle jellies. Once you actually saw the Guardians fighting to something like Culture Club or something else where it's like, it's not what you would think as a music that fits with it. It worked so well and people were smiling. The songs definitely had to work in the huddle before anything else. Star-Lord, right? It's Star-Lord. The Star-Lord band was a very interesting thing. So my creative director, he approached me and he was like, Peter Quill took the name Star-Lord because in our universe, he loved this band growing up called Star-Lord. So he goes, what about you spend part of your day writing this rock album? Um, Really? You know, like, how much farther can I go? I wrote some lyrics. We tried writing the first song, which was Space Riders with no names. And I always assumed that I was going to find another singer to, to do the vocals. But when he heard it, he was like, who's singing? And I said, well, it's me. And he just looked at me and he was shocked. And he's like, that's you. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, OK, we're not changing it. So inside, I was like, you know, a little five-year-old kid jumping, going, yes, I'm going to get to sing on this. Run with the wind. We wanted to celebrate the Guardians and the whole rock and roll, you know, their dysfunctional family and everything that's, that's around all that. And being able to do an album to support this is like a huge honor and I hope people enjoy the album as much as we enjoyed making it. That's what you get with a space truck and no man.